and I'm back with another video. As you can see, I'm in a car right now. I'm actually going to get lip fillers today. What? I'm getting like a touch up. I'm gonna explain more when I get there, but I just wanted to do my intro really quickly while I'm at this red light. I am like 10 minutes late. I'm about to call them and tell them that I'm running late because I actually left my house like five minutes early, but LA traffic, you leave five minutes early, LA traffic is going to delay you by another 15 minutes. I'm gonna like attempt to do a little beauty maintenance vlog right now, but I'm gonna continue recording when I get there. talking a certain way, moving your lips a certain way before filler. You're gonna smile, talk, and move the same way after. I know what you're asking for in the middle and we'll talk about if that's possible. You want a more oval shaped lip, you don't really like the dip. Yeah, like I want it to be like flat. Like you see how there's that just, I kind of want it to be like, like when I go like that, it's kind of flattened out. But like this, you can kind of see that yeah. right there. This is, this one has filler. This has filler and this is also natural, mm -hmm. but it's pushing and creating this dip and making it look empty. Mm -hmm. When you kiss your face, push forward. Smile with teeth, big smile, relax fully. Pinch it up, there we go. And open. There we go. Nice deep breath. One, two, three. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Yeah. I know. You got it though. Yeah. I know. You got it though. Okay. I'm gonna go on the other side already because I know you don't want your top too big, but I have to fix the lumpies. Bear with me on this side. Okay, nice deep breath, I'm sorry. One, two, three, sorry, 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 spicy. There we go. I know, I know, just bear with me, I know. But the thing is, I'm not gonna fill you here because I don't wanna make this bump bigger. Yeah. Another deepest breath, another quick poke, just breathe. I know, dear, sorry, left side is spicy. Mm -hmm. You got it. Sorry, dear. This one's not a fun one, I know. There we go, we got it. But this is how you're gonna massage, by the way. Okay. So different injectors, different techniques, different aftercare instructions, okay? Mm-hmm. With me, you guys massage your lips, but not until day three. Okay. Starting Saturday, for five to 10 minutes a day, every day for 14 days, you're gonna massage your lips. Okay, guys, so my lips look really 
crazy right now because they're swollen and they're gonna look really swollen for probably like two weeks um once they go back down though i think that'll they'll look good i honestly don't like how they look when they swell up so don't be talking shit i know they look crazy that's how they always look crazy then you let the swelling go down she definitely fixed my top lip because i had that dip and you know you, she was talking about like how i should have just dissolved all of my lips that's probably she's probably right i probably should have i'm happy because my bottom lip is a lot bigger that's exactly how i wanted it and um she didn't get to really define my cupid's bow as much but it's okay i just think i'll probably get a little touch up probably get a little touch up next time and just get my cupid's bow done but i'm not doing i don't like to go back too soon really i just wanted her to fix my top lip and just make it like flattened out because i had like it was kind of lumpy and i wanted my bottom lip to be bigger she did just that um other than that i think i basically kept my natural shape i'm sorry that y'all gotta look at this because i have a whole fucking peach fuzz yeah now i'm going to be on my way i'm debating if i want to go and get my feet done or if i want to go and just go home and edit so i can't go to the gym or nothing um can't go to the gym or anything until saturday there's that but i'm already happy with my bottom lip like i love a full lip but my bottom lip looks so full so yeah. I'm actually going on Friday to change this mat to regular finish. Mat gets really dirty, especially with light colors. Be doing a lot, and I want my nails to last me to New Year's. Okay, guys. So right now it's 8:43. I've decided that I'm gonna actually make this vlog like a beauty maintenance vlog so i'm actually not gonna upload it until my lips go down in the meantime i am gonna show you guys me like getting my nails fixed on friday because they're matte right now but i want them to be regular polish because i don't like matte i really don't like matte because matte gets really dirty and i do makeup hair like, i work with oils and shit like it's not worth messing up my nails because i want them to last me but how my lips look like right now they're not gonna look once they're completely healed like in terms of like the coloring and the um swelling that's gonna go away so my lips are gonna look how they look now but just a little bit smaller they're gonna shrink gonna be more smooth as well so that's why they look really bumpy and bruised right now that's why i'm just not gonna leave the video off of my lips looking like this because last time i did that everybody was like talking shit but it's like babe please don't talk shit about me when you know what it don't matter about no when what don't talk shit about me period you don't like it then don't watch the video the next day hey guys so today is friday um it's like 12 30 right now i just pulled up to my nail girl's house and i'm about to get my nails fixed so my nails are not messed up i got them done like two days ago and i wish i vlogged it for the purpose of this vlog but she did matte and i don't really like matte so i'm gonna have her change it right now it shouldn't take that long. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go back home and just start editing this video. So basically guys, um, I forgot. I'm supposed to go see Spider-Man later today. I know you guys have just been asking me for longer videos. So I've just been trying to think of ways to make this video a little bit longer. As y'all can see, it's a lot more detail now, which is what I wanted. I really do like this set a lot, I'm not gonna lie. And it goes perfectly with my feet as well. I'm just gonna edit and then I'll continue vlogging when I go to the movies later. And that'll basically be it until I go to my cool sculpting next week. I forgot to talk to y'all about, oh yes, these are my lips. They are still kind of swollen. Um, it's day two now. As you guys can see, I feel like this looks so much better than when I first started the video. Like it looks so much more flat and smoothed out. And my bottom lip is really swollen because most of the filler is in my bottom lip because I had to get more filler in the bottom to match the top. So I know y'all are probably like, bitch, what are you even getting your lips done for? Really, I was getting my lips done to fix what got messed up because basically my top lip i got it dissolved in september because it just started looking crazy it didn't look like this at all when i got it dissolved it was like a gap right it was like a dip gap right here so i got that filled and if you guys don't know filler is temporary so filler only lasts for like a couple of months to a year obviously there's still leftover filler there was still and always will be still leftover filler in your lips but it does go down over time so when people get their lips done again it's not because oh they want bigger 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 sometimes that shit does go 
down and you just have to get it redone again because it just don't look the same. I last got my lips done a year ago and compared to what they look like now, they looked completely different. So I did have to, I had to get more filler in my bottom lip to match my top lip because my bottom lip was drastically smaller than my top lip. If you guys are watching this and you got filler or you're thinking about getting filler, don't be like me. If you guys wanna get your, your lips redone, I think it's smarter to just dissolve and then get filler versus to get filler and get filler and get filler. Especially if you're going to a bunch of different places like me. I went to three different places so far. It's more difficult if you keep going to different places and it's also more difficult if you don't dissolve your lips because it can make it look bumpy and crazy my lips were looking bumpy and crazy at first not as much so far like honestly y'all i'm in love with my top lip like my top lip did not look like this so i'm just really really satisfied the only thing that i'm gonna do is go back in a few months for a touch-up i actually made my touch-up appointment for march so when i go back for my touch-up i'm just gonna have her do my cupid's bow and then i'm gonna have her add whatever remaining in the syringe to my bottom lip because as you guys can see my top lip is still slightly bigger than my bottom lip i don't know if y'all could tell but I could tell that's basically it for my fillers right now yeah but I know I'm probably looking crazy but you know what by this time next week I'm actually gonna be looking amazingly beautiful huh? right before Christmas three hours later hey guys so it's now it's 8 oh my god it's 8 20 and I have to rush to go get to the movie it starts at 8 30 well you know movies really start 15 minutes after i'll be okay i'm like rushing i'm only like 10 minutes away from the movie theater though so i should be there really fast So um, I just got back home from watching the Spider-Man movie and I really enjoyed it. I am really annoyed though because the people around me were just so loud and annoying and I completely forgot that. That's how movies are when you go when it, like a movie first came out or a movie first comes out because that movie just came out I believe like two, two or three days ago and... Yeah, aside from people being really annoying, I enjoyed the movie. So I just came back home. You don't mind these eyelashes. I do not like them. They were just some eyelashes that I just randomly found and put on earlier. I'm going to continue recording when I'm getting my cool sculpting. So that is all for now. And this is what my lips are looking like with gloss on my lips are still bruised underneath but i did cover the bruises with like concealer honestly this is only day three and i know my lips are gonna go down by a lot more which is a good thing i don't really want them to be this big um i feel like right now they're a little but that's i'm i know that's how the healing process is because <laughs> I'm fine, you guys, sorry. But I know that's how the healing process is because this is my third time getting lip fillers. I'm still pretty satisfied with like what it's looking like and I'm happy too because I know it's gonna go down by a lot more. And of course, I'll be able to show you guys that in about a week, so yeah. What's good, you guys? It's Tuesday. I really need to get a better tripod for my car um because i really hate holding my camera when i drive I'm basically sitting in traffic right now now i know that i did like kind of change the vibe of this vlog up some sorry in advance if this shit is all over the place right now i am on my way to a tattoo appointment it's really funny because i low-key set up this whole like week just so i can have stuff to vlog I'm about to just get two small tattoos i'll talk more about it when i get there i'm gonna be sitting in traffic for like an hour it's 3 20 i'm probably gonna get to her at like 4 45 ish she lives really far from me i thought it was gonna be super cold and ugly outside but it's actually kind of nice outside this is really a come with me to my appointments slash a week in my life video because i have been recording stuff that has nothing to do with appointments so i guess i don't know y'all because i like to have my videos organized i don't know how y'all feel about it i don't know how y'all feel about my vlogs being all over the place i am also really excited because i'm gonna be recording a new hotbox i'm gonna do a car hotbox 
but like a playlist because i peep y'all been asking me for playlist videos and then i peep y'all be always asking me about my music on live and i peep that y'all been telling me to make a playlist video so i'm like i could just do both usually i don't like to do playlist videos because they get demonetized but i'm like my hot boxes get demonetized anyway so i'm like a hot box plus a playlist it's fine if i don't make any money from it i don't make money from most of my videos it's not really about the money but if i could make money from a video i'll take that over being demonetized you know because people are always asking me too like how is it like as a stoner youtuber or like smoking on youtube they will demonetize your shit and if they don't demonetize it then they'll age restrict it and either way you can't make money off of it so but anyway y'all i'm about to send this traffic and i will continue recording when i get there so i can show you guys what tattoo i'm gonna get and where so i just got here i didn't like explain really but I'm not at like a tattoo shop or nothing. This is my friend. Um, I'll put her Instagram right here. Her name is Jaylene. She does tattoos in LA. She's just like deep, deep in LA and I live in the valley. I don't really live in LA. That's why it took me so long to get here, but I'm gonna show you guys the tattoos that I'm gonna get. Probably gonna take off my mask and shit. I just wanted to explain that in case anybody's wondering like, where are you? So I've actually came to her before. Um, I came to her twice actually. She did this tattoo on my arm, on my forearm. And this tattoo is for my dad when he passed away. So I really like this tattoo. And she also fixed my spine tattoo because the first guy that I went to, I didn't really like it like that. Most of the tattoo artists that I go to work out of studios. I've only gotten a tattoo at a shop once. All my other tattoos, I've only went to four people. Yeah, I only went to four people and one of those was a shop. Because I don't really want to go too many different places. My mom told me basically like it's better if you just go to the same person so that they can mesh all your tattoos together, which I want to do soon. So um, I'm about to keep putting on this numbing cream, y'all. I do not like to get tattoos without numbing cream. I'm not going to lie. I use this numbing cream. I got it from Amazon. This stuff is the shit. I'm going to just put y'all on since y'all watching this vlog. And I know I don't got to gatekeep too much. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all might think I'm evil for that. But yes, I'm a gatekeeper. I'm sorry because inflation. I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I know like as an influencer, gatekeeping is really dumb. Like sometimes I do gatekeep. I'm not going to lie though. Like I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you guys. Sometimes I just don't care. I'm just putting on a really thick layer. And my girl is printing out this stuff that I'm going to get. So let me show you guys what I'm going to get. But yeah, I got that from Amazon. I don't even know if I have a link. So I would really just screenshot it and like search it up. Let me show you guys what I'm gonna get. So I'm gonna get two tattoos today. They're gonna be pretty small. I'm not gonna lie you guys. I'm really only getting a tattoo for this vlog. Like I already wanted a tattoo, but um, I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't right timing, I guess. I've been wanting a tattoo for my dog that passed away, Amor. If you guys did not know, she passed away in August. I wanted to get a tattoo for her. And then I just wanted to get something to kind of match this om symbol i'm gonna get um self-confidence or self-love i think it's self-confidence or self-love one of the other i'm gonna get it in arabic on this side and i chose arabic you guys are, if you guys are wondering why i chose arabic it's kind of because i feel like arabic is a language that closest resembles what this om sign looks like because this om sign is not in a language um it's just a symbol you know details going on with like the dots and the squiggles and stuff i don't think there's anything wrong with getting a tattoo just because it's cute your tattoo does not have to mean nothing and don't let nobody tell you that to do my other plan was to get my dog more so I don't have like a picture of what I'm gonna get but I'll kind of explain it to you guys so I'm gonna do this for my dog more but instead of this heart it's gonna be a paw and then it's gonna be like the heart line thing like the heart monitor and then it's gonna say a more instead of sisters but it's gonna be a different font I'm just taking this and kind of tweaking it I always get super nervous when I get tattoos you guys so usually I like take a shot or I smoke so I'm gonna smoke she printed the stuff out I think I want to try the medium first because I wanted to align with this y'all y'all see that right so this is what the medium size one is looking like y'all and I feel like this is actually what I was going for make sure that I was going based off of hers was pretty big I wanted to look like this on my shoulder
Well, there it is, guys. Oh. My tattoo. I think it's super cute, but like, fainty. I didn't want to do too much, you know? Yeah. I just want something short, sweet. Here's results, guys. Super cute. She's quick. It didn't hurt that bad. It was like the first. It was like you like first started. I'm back home. It's nine o'clock right now. Um, honestly, guys, I'm just gonna go to the gym. Um, come home and just chill out. So I don't really have anything else to vlog, and I didn't really want to make this vlog about going to the gym or anything like that. So, um, I will actually continue vlogging tomorrow for my cool sculpting appointment, and tomorrow will be my last day of vlogging. Here's what my lips are looking like. It has officially been a week. Tomorrow it will officially be a week. So here's what my lips look like. They're still a little bruised, I'm not gonna lie, and swollen, but usually it takes two weeks for them to go down to what they're really gonna look like. I'll definitely show you guys one more glance before this vlog is over, but it probably won't be in two weeks because I'm I wanna actually wanna upload this vlog this week. Hey y'all, what's good? So it's Wednesday. I am honestly I'm really annoyed right now. I'm really annoyed right now because I don't know why y'all but I always fucking do this shit I always do this shit where but sometimes it's really like I have no sense of time and it's just so hard to like actually get up and get ready because it's not even to say I overslept or anything I was literally awake and I could have I had the ability to start getting ready to be here on time and everything and I just didn't <laughs> so I am like five minutes late to my cool sculpting appointment right now I do go to laser away I have a feeling that you guys are probably gonna have hella questions about cool sculpting because I know you guys are already asking me about my slim shot stuff so use the right two bro, lanes to turn on is it me or is the series just really annoying <laughs> Why you keep talking over me? Because now you're gonna piss me off. She talked in front of me three times already, and now I'm really mad. Anyway, I'm just annoyed in general, you guys, okay? Because I wanted to be cute for this vlog. I told myself I was gonna wake up today and get cute, put my wig on, do my makeup, and I was just, I just didn't do it. Like, I just woke up and just didn't do it. Put on my wig, I put on a hat and some eyelashes. This is as good as it's gonna get. I wanted to get cute, cute. Here it is, go again. This is my second cool sculpting session. They tried to tell me that I need a third session, y'all. I don't know. I did two areas. I did my flanks, which is like my love handles, and I did my lower abdomen. Huh? Ab my lower abs, whatever. Ab whatever the I'm gonna say. I did my lower abs, and that whole thing was like $2,400, but I signed up for their monthly payments because they allow you to finance it. So my monthly payments, I did two sessions for my love handles and one session for my lower abdomen. They're saying I need a third session for my love handles. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the third session right now. That would really be me paying $200 a month. Bitch, what are you trying to do? People cannot drive, man. I just got here. I'm gonna park and go in since I'm already running late. And then while I'm doing my cool sculpting, I can talk a little bit more about it because I have a feeling you guys are gonna have questions. So I'm just gonna answer the questions that I think you guys are gonna ask. And if I need to and y'all have more questions about my cool sculpting, I can just make a separate video in the future. If you guys want a video like that, be sure to leave a comment below and I don't mind making a video on my cool sculpting experience i'll probably do it when i'm fully finished though i'm about to go inside and then i will continue recording once the treatment starts and then come and tell y'all something i'm just gonna change into these disposable undies and stuff it's confusing because when you first call you have to send pictures and then they assess what you need off of pictures and then you come in and somebody else assesses you off what you look like in person so i guess the first person that assessed my pictures did it wrong because when the nurse assessed my body in real life I guess she said something along the lines of I need more sessions so I'm actually gonna be doing two sessions for love handles and two sessions for flanks because that's what they recommended basically I'm gonna get my two rounds of both areas flanks and lower abs see what it looks like and then if I don't like what it looks like I'm gonna come back and do a third session same areas but I guess one of the nurses said that I should do my upper abs it's confusing because why do I have to keep talking to different people each time I come like it's like every time I talk to somebody else they say something different I don't like that go ahead and turn like towards me this way there you go so during this time you're gonna be um, on your stomach you're just gonna be pre wiping the area clean up
Okay guys, so um, it's 4.15. This process is probably gonna take like an hour and a half to two hours. So I'm really just gonna be sitting here chilling. Um, right now I'm doing my love handles. Apparently I'm gonna just have to come back here tomorrow to do my lower abs, cause I guess they wanted me to do two rounds of each area. So I'm coming back tomorrow for lower abs. The way that the lady was explaining it to me right now, it was kind of confusing. She said like when I came in, the lady recommended that I do four areas, upper, lower, and flanks. But I didn't think I needed it for the upper. I'm gonna do these two areas. I'm gonna do my lower abs and my love handles because I feel like those are my problem areas. I'm gonna see the results in a couple of months and then I'll decide from there what I wanna do. Maybe if I do wanna do a third session, I'll do it next year because I realistically don't see myself paying any more than like a hundred dollars monthly for this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna sit here and chill, um, eat some chips. Here we are done with the first applicator, so I'm gonna go ahead and start massaging you for two minutes, okay? Oh my god. session for my lower abs so after today i'm gonna wait to see the results i'm gonna give it a couple months and then i might decide to come back and do a third session i'm just changing my clothes right now and then we're gonna get started it's gonna take about two hours so i'm literally just gonna be sitting here that's all cool sculpting really is I just finished up with my cool sculpting. So like I said, this is my second session. I did two rounds for two areas. I'm out of breath because that massage was so painful. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I think cool sculpting is painful. When they're doing the actual applicator on you, it doesn't hurt. But it's like the massage that they do for two to three minutes that hurt. And then the soreness. I was sore for like a week or two weeks after. But I'm already starting to see results, I'm not gonna lie. The real results are gonna take eight weeks to actually like fully set in. So there's no way for me to show this to you guys. I think I'll just do like a cool sculpting update or something like that. Or if you guys want me to do a full cool sculpting video and you guys have questions and stuff like that, leave y'all questions down below. And if it's enough questions, I can make like an actual full video on it and like an update video answering y'all questions. So right now I'm about to go home, smoke, eat, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. And then after I come back, home from the gym i just have to go home and fix this wig because i'm about to change my hair tomorrow just like wrapping up this was my cool sculpting and you know we're nearing the end of this video i just wanted this vlog to be organized y'all as you can see okay i plan things out so yeah i gotta go it's friday um so i guess this really is like a week in my love video this is gonna be my last day of vlogging tomorrow is christmas um so i guess i'll show you guys my hair 
um, real quick before I end the vlog. My plan was to record myself uh, wrapping my gifts last night, but literally, you guys, I like took edibles and smoked, and I literally forgot to record myself. So um, I have like two more gifts to wrap. Honestly, y'all, I think I'm still high from last night. I took edibles at like two in the morning. And I'm kind of regretting that because I went to sleep high and woke up high. I woke up in a lot of pain from my cool sculpting. Um, and I say this because my plan was to also go to the gym today so that I didn't have to go again this week. But I'm in a lot of pain from cool sculpting, like I told you guys. Um, it's a lot of soreness. They definitely don't tell you. They don't really talk about the soreness as much. But it's a lot of soreness. I think I'm like too sore to really do my efficient workout. <laughs> That's how you know you're really high when you wake up high. I literally woke up high, y'all. I still low-key feel high right now. But I'm not like super high out of my mind but, but I'm literally gonna go run to Target Get some last minute things And then um, come home and finish my gift wrapping Even though I've finished majority of it This is with my tree Don't mind that trash I'm about to throw all of that away But this is my tree It's looking like so pretty right and this is all the stuff that I wrapped last night that took me like freaking two hours I didn't even wrap Like there's all other Christmas decorations that I put at the little fireplace Okay guys, so that was basically all that I had for my gifts. The only thing I have to do is um, add my gift labels, but I'm honestly probably just going to do that tomorrow. And after I'm done editing, I'm going to do my hair and then I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I would like show you guys me installing it, but I have to record my install for my hair review or I'll link the hair review to the wig. I will be back in a bit and I'm going to be a bad bit. Okay. <laughs> I um bleached it and stuff yesterday and it's a closure wig and I got it from Ellie Pearl. The hair feels really nice. It shouldn't take me no longer than like an hour, but I have to edit so I'm gonna edit right now. Three hundred and forty six minutes later. I have just finished my hair, y'all. I'm so annoyed because it's like three AM. I did not get to edit my video. For some reason my footage is like tripping right now, so I'm gonna have to edit it tomorrow. But I finished up in my gifts. I did do my hair and now I'm about to go to sleep because tomorrow's Christmas. I just wanted to wrap this vlog up. Um, I guess I won't really count my hair for going with like the appointments and stuff, but this is this unit. I will have a hair review and install video up about like a week or two from now. So I'll put it in the cards or the description box for this unit. If you guys are interested in it, I got it from Ali Pearl Hair. But that was it for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a big giant thumbs up. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think of everything. I would say my lips are pr practically almost fully healed now. This is what they're looking like. They're no, It's not really bruised video. If you guys have any questions about cool sculpting or any other things that I had done, my hair, my nails, my lip fillers, whatever questions y'all got leave them down below i'll see y'all in my next video thanks for watching i love you guys so much and have a great merry christmas even though this is probably gonna be posted after christmas have a great merry christmas and have a happy holidays